Hi, welcome back to my beauty's big sister channel. As you're watching this, I should be living it up in Ibiza. Um, if you don't follow me on Snapchat yet, I'm Snapchatting basically every day. So follow me, Daisy underscore S, and you'll be able to see what's going on in Ibiza. As I'm filming this, I have no idea, but I hope I'm having fun. So I thought it would be a good idea to film my hand luggage bag to show you what I kind of take on a flight and my travel essentials. So first up, I have my bag. This is my Longchamps bag. I take this away with me, which is quite a big one, um, but it just fits everything in, and I don't want to take one of my expensive, really expensive handbags on holiday because I'm not going to use it out there. I only really use a beach bag or a clutch bag, so there's no point taking a really expensive bag on holiday, and then you've got the risk of you're losing it or it getting stolen. It's not worth it. So this is the bag that I take. Um, so I will show you inside. So first up, number one travel essential, fluffy socks. Really cold on a flight and I don't like having cold feet. And generally if I'm going to a hot country, I'll have sandals on. So fluffy socks go on before I've even took off. So they're essential. My camera, obviously. I'm gonna be filming a style diary while I'm out there. I really wanna get more into vlogging, but I just don't know if you guys wanna see that and is there any point when there's like Snapchat now? So let me know if you want me to vlog more and I will. Um, this is the camera that I've just got recently. It's the Canon G7X and I really, really like it. It's so good, the quality is amazing and it's so handy because it's got Wi-Fi in it. You can just literally send it straight to your phone and pop it up on Instagram. So I'm really, really happy with my new camera. Also, I always put in my sunglasses um, because I'm hoping when I land it's going to be sunny. These are my new glasses that I just got, my Burberry ones. I have literally worn them to death, but I just think they look so nice when my hair's down or like when it's up and all like down there. Love them. And then I'll always take a bikini in my hand luggage. If I'm getting there early, which I am for Ibiza, we get there at nine o'clock in the morning, so we won't be able to check into the hotel. So we can just leave our stuff at the hotel. I can pop my bikini on and head straight out into the sun. Also, God forbid, touch wood, if your case did go wandering, at least you've got your bikini. So this is my new one from Ann Summers. Haven't worn it yet. I think it's from the new Vicky Patterson range, but I love wearing red because I think it just goes with my skin colour and my hair colour. So I will be taking this away with me and I will be wearing it. Some peppermint tea in case they don't have them on the flight. Kit Kat because I might want a snack. And some plasters in case my feet hurt. Shouldn't do, I have fluffy socks on. So that's what I have in my main bag. And then inside my bag, I have this bag. So this has got all my essential stuff in. So I can easily dive into that clutch in my big bag to find the important things. Obviously, can't go anywhere without passport. So I have this DKNY passport case. Um, I've had it for ages actually, and this is my passport. Two little bottles I always take with me. One, sanitizing hand gel. If there's someone around me and they're ill, I'm not getting ill before I go on holiday. So always making sure that my hands are super clean on a flight because it's a lot of people, a lot of germs. And then mouthwash because I don't really like going to the toilet and cleaning my teeth when I'm on a plane. Generally, I'm not on a plane more than seven hours, but I do like to take my mouthwash just to quickly refresh. And then my skincare essential is this little pot of Astral. My past few trips, I have took this in my hand luggage and I love it. So it's like this little pot of cream. It's the original Astral cream, but the size is perfect. I think it's a 50 ml, yeah, a 50 ml pot. And this is so good because you can literally put it anywhere on your body. So if I want to hydrate my legs, my feet, hands, even my face, I always put it on my lips for a bit of hydration there. And yeah, it's just really good, really handy. 
my Chanel purse. This comes everywhere with me and I got this for my 21st birthday so I'll always keep my money in this. Leave a little bit of English money, still win it for the journey back um, but generally I will fill this up with whichever currency I need. Then an Invisi bobble because I can then put, oh I just noticed my hair. Yeah an Invisi bobble so I can pop my hair up and then when I get there I can take it down and it won't have a kink in it. My iPod and my headphones, these come with me. When I go away. I don't listen to my iPod hardly ever when I'm at home. I only ever listen to it when I go away. So this hasn't been updated in a while. Probably got a lot of old school tunes on here. Um, but I like to take these headphones away with me rather than like the enclosed ones. I've got the, I don't know what the brand is called, but the rose gold, you know, classic blogger headphones. I love them and I'll use them when I'm like going into London, stuff like that. I'll listen to music on my phone. Um, but when I'm on a flight, I just find they get really uncomfortable after a certain amount of time. So yeah, I just prefer to take these standard Apple headphones with me. Earplugs. Suddenly, I've had a massive problem with my ears when I've gone on holiday. It all started when I went away for New Year. And when I got to Scotland, my ears hadn't popped and didn't pop. Went to the doctors when I got home and it was so painful and it took ages to like go back to normal. I still don't think they've gone back to normal. But yeah, always take earplugs with me and I'd rather just put them in for takeoff and landing just in case. Um, my ears go funny but luckily I was fine when I went to Dubai and also just to help I always take some sweets with me obviously demolished the Frutella packet when I went away last time so I've only got one left need to stock up at the airport chewing gum again in case my ears go funny or if I want a bit of a refresh and then I will always take a bronzing brush this is my favorite bronzing brush ever just go all over my face and then i've been loving the charlotte tilbury bronze and glow lately really nice just to put all over your face for a bit of a glow i don't usually wear a lot of makeup when i'm getting on a flight because it is really drying to the skin um, when you're up in the air so i don't normally put a lot on i'll just put a bit of mascara on a bit of bronzing powder all over and then a bit of lip gloss but now I've been introduced to these, the La Roche Posay makeup remover pods. They are so good for traveling. So if you are going on a flight but you want to wear makeup to the airport, um, then just break off one of these pods and that's your makeup remover in there. You're not going to use it again because that's enough to take your whole makeup off. And I think it's just such a good idea. It's so handy to go traveling in, but it also means that there's no preservatives in this formula either. So they are really good for your skin. I've got super sensitive skin and I have recently just tried this brand and it is absolutely fine with my skin. It's so gentle. So I'd really recommend these. And then my last thing that I just say I always take away with me is this. This is possibly one of the best things I've ever bought. I got this in the airport at Las Vegas and I love it. It is so soft, I cannot tell you. So I have this on my bed at home and, and just like snuggle up to it. Um, so you've got this like strap, so you can carry it like that, which is what I do when I go to the airport. Um, and then instead of wearing them stupid blow up, neck things and you're like that it's so uncomfortable i don't understand why anyone likes them so instead i have this and i just go like that i rest my elbow against the the, the arm rest and i i will sleep for days it's so nice and then you just undo the straps and it turns into the most beautiful big blanket because I get super cold on flight, so this goes over me. So happy. I had the best flight back from Vegas when I got this because I was just so happy with it. So I'll try and find it online um, if anyone's interested. I got it at Express Spa, which is like the spa that you get in some airports. But if I can't find it online, then I'll put a similar one below. But yeah, best thing ever. Have it on my bed at home. 
take it away with me. I mean, there's not a lot of time that me and this guy have apart. Yeah, thank you for watching my travel essentials. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please, please like below, comment below, let me know what you take away. If there's anything we take the same, let me know. As I said, if you don't follow me on Snapchat yet, do that now. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, because I'll be posting away all my holiday snaps. Have a lovely week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.